we will discuss the very fundamental laws of physics, especially those laws of physics which are having linear proportionalities. And we will discuss the physics and the concept behind them, the different misconceptions about them, and to understand all those, we will have to understand the straight line equation. So I am, for example, the very first one that I am writing is, for example, I want to write the very first law, which is Ohm's law. Now you know Ohm's law is written is V equals IR. We will discuss this thing after a while then, whether it's a law or not. But first we are discussing its equation. Means if I write this is V proportional to I and then V is equal to a constant in I and then this constant of proportionality is R in I. So this will make our equation V equals I R. Another way to do this thing is if I write that I is proportional to V, then I will be equal to a constant V. And this constant I write is 1 over R in V. So this will make again this equation V equals I R. Now the question is whether we should write it like this or we should write like this. What is the correct way? This we will have to decide. So in the beginning, I am saying that it is not right to write it like this, but to write it like this. And I will explain you the reason or the concept behind this. Similarly, if I write the Newton, Newton second law of motion. Then the Newton second law of motion we usually write is F equals M. If I write it in magnitude form, then this is F equals M. Now how to get this equation? The very first thing that we will have to say about this one is should we write f proportional to a and then f equals a constant a and then this constant is the mass and this is equal m. Or uh, we should write it like this, A is proportional to F, then A is proportional, A is equal to a constant F, and then A is equal to 1 over M, this constant, and this is equal to F equals M. We should write our Newton's second law, derive it like this. Or there is another way that I write that A is proportional to F, then A is proportional to 1 over M. So I can combine the two, then I can combine the two proportionalities and I can write A is proportional to F over M. And I write that A is equal to a constant F over M. And I write this constant is equal to 1. And F over M. And this will make my equation that F equals M. What's the right way to write all this? 
And then you know about the Hooke's law. The Hooke's law is, you know, this is f equals minus kx, where minus is showing the restoration nature of this force. So if I write it in magnitude form, this is minus kx. Now how to write this one? Like whether we should write f proportional to x and then we can write minus x as well and then f is equal to k times x where k is the constant of proportionality so we will write due to x is minus x so we write f equal to kx or we should write this thing is x is proportional to f then x is equal to some constant f and then x equals 1 over k f and this is f equals kx which way is right? just put the minus sign for the restoration nature of this force this way is right or this way is right? These, all these three laws are actually having one thing in common and that thing which is common in all these three is actually that they are linear laws. The equation is a linear equation. Linear laws, linear equations. Now the regime of this one is different from this one and that one. We will discuss them one by one. But the very first thing that we will have to understand, we will have to understand that it is to be written like this or like this or like this or this and this. Or this way is right or this way is right. We will have to discuss this thing and for this we will have to take a linear equation and linear equation you know is the equation of a straight line so the very first thing that we would like to discuss is to discuss the equation of a straight line so the, the equation of a straight line. You know it's a linear equation. What is the equation of a straight line? Y is equal to mx plus c. And now I will have to split it and discuss individually all of these. We call x is the independent variable. Independent variable. Why we call is a dependent variable. Why C we call Y C we will call is the Y intercept and M is called the slope. This M is defined is slope and this is actually the rise over run. How much we are rising and now the run. So now I will plot this uh, equation I am plotting my one axis and now the other axis Okay. 
on this axis we will have to plot the independent variable because we will change this value and it will give value to this one. So here is the independent which is x and here is the dependent variable. The dependent and the independent. Now what will be the response? What will be the plot? The plot will be y equal mx plus c. Now this y will be the output and this x is the input. We will give value to x and we will get the value of y. Now this will be a certain equation. What we will plot here, what will be the relation between x and y here? The relation between x and y will be whatever you plot on this axis is actually the x value. And whatever you plot on this axis is the y value. Whatever you plot in this plane, which is the y x plane or x y plane, is actually the value which you call y over x. This is not y plus x or minus x. This value, whatever you plot here, this point is actually y over x. And this we call the slope. Right? Now, if I will have an equation and the equation is like let's say the very first equation that I say is y equal x y equal x now what is here here the value m is equal to 1 and the value c is equal to 0 this I call the origin or the zero point of both x and y. So at this point, which is the origin, means I give value to x so for x equal to 1, y is equal to 1. For x equal to 2, y is 2 and 3 and 3 and 4 and so on. So it's a completely one one relation. And in all these cases, m will be equal to y over x, and it will always come out to be one. So we will have a straight line, and the straight line will be somehow exactly at 45 angle because x and y should be equal. And this will be equal to a line like this. This angle will be 45 in their situation. Because this x value, this y value, and this x value will be equal. And the slope of this line, I will call that this is equals 1. Now what the intercept will actually do here. If I now write that y is equal to x plus 1. Now in this equation m is equal to 1, m is 1, but c is also 1 now. Whatever you do with this equation, it will be the equation of a straight line. Because y is in linear relation with x. If the x power will change some curvature with a curvature. But as long as the x power is 1 and the y power is 1, it will be always a straight line. So, I can say that for this one, if I consider the x equal to 0 point, then y is equal to 1. So it means on x equal to 0, the y point is, let's say this is our 1. 
So our Y will start from, our straight line will start from this way. And it will make us a straight line, which will be exactly parallel to this one. Because the slope remains the same. You can extend this line this way as well. No problem with this. <coughs> How much you extend this line, the slope will remain the same. The slope of this line is the same as this line because it is also making 45 degrees. The only difference is this, that the y-offset or the y-intercept has changed. 